Imagine being 90 years old and having a movie made about you. Sounds like a dream, right? Some people don't have to imagine it because that's what's happening, thanks to Tom Brady's new movie. If you're a sports fan, you know that a movie's about to be released and it's based on this guy's life. A group of North Attleboro women and their over 80 for Brady fan club is the reason this film is even happening. And who doesn't love them some Brady? So when they asked a member of the group, Betty Pensiwell, who's 94 to describe him, she just had three words. handsome adorable and gorgeous. Absolute truth. Handsome, <laughs> adorable, <laughs> gorgeous. He's reigning the hearts of Gen Z and baby boomers. That's a pretty rare feat. If you're interested in watching the movie 80 for Brady, it's going to get its theatrical release on February 3rd of 2023. It follows a group of senior women who take a spur-of-the-moment trip to Houston in an attempt to watch their favorite player, you guessed who, play against the Atlanta Falcons. That's a fanny pack. If you wear it like this, it's a strap-on. Wow. Sure, this movie is largely a work of fiction, but it's taken inspiration from these real-life local women. Yep, there's no age limit to love. This group of women gathered every week to watch Brady and the Patriots play. They were even invited to a morning show to talk about how it all happened. Come on, who wouldn't love to be old and famous? So you would just need to have a crush on a younger football player, right? In an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, Pensiwell and her best friend discussed the movie. It's all about friendship and don't get into arguments with people. The best friend is also from the same neighborhood and is even older than Betty. She's 95. Sure, it might not look too old compared to 94, but when you're in your 90s, every day is a pretty huge deal. They talked about why they founded the Over 80 for Brady fan club and how their group inspired the upcoming flick. So this is a group of five friends. There's Betty and Elaine, as you've been introduced, and then there's Anita, Pat, and Claire. After they all became widows, they found a common connection. They love to gather every Sunday to watch the Patriots. St. Martin said that they'd take turns. One Sunday here, one Sunday at my house. It, it, it would go right through the five of us. One Sunday somewhere, the other at her house. And like that, it'd rotate through all five of them. There's also a grandson involved, Max Gross, whose grandma is our lovely Betty. He even made the women t-shirts for their little fan club. But Ms. St. Martin is a little high maintenance. She said she'd sometimes just hold it on her. She didn't put it over her head because she didn't want to spoil her hair. I didn't want to spoil my hair. But see? There's a list of what she loves and Tom Brady comes second her hair is on the top. This grandson works as a talent agent in Hollywood, and he pitched this idea until he found a partner. That partner was Brady's production company. Speaking of production companies, the decision to make the movie came at an ironic time. 80 for Brady became a reality right around the time the player decided to sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The ladies didn't like this decision one bit. It got a bit dramatic on CBS because St. Martin said she was very angry with him and wanted to kill him. Yikes. I was angry with him. I wanted to kill him <laughs> for leaving us. But time heals all wounds, and the ladies came around to watch the box games whenever possible. Good thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't get this potentially awesome movie. It got a little tough for them to watch two games, but they made sure they got to see him. The Patriots are still their team, though. Then, once the flick was greenlit, their hero sent a video message to Pensiwell in 2020. In that message, he let her know he wanted to make a movie about their fan club. She was in shock. I want to make a movie based on your over 80 for Brady crew, so. Who wouldn't be? She even asked her grandson how he pulled it off. Oh my God, Max, how did you do that? Is that him or an imitation, she asked. You gotta be clear that though those five women are the inspiration, but the movie is mostly fiction. Now you gotta wait for it to release to see what they've cooked up. But for now, let's move on from the five Brady ladies and talk about a little spark between Sally Field and Brady. Did this headline scare you? Hold on, I'll clear things up. If you've just divorced, you're gonna look around for a rebound, right? You know, I feel like, um... I feel like I always want to be ready to go, so... That ain't special, but it does become newsworthy when it's a rebound with a legend. Brady talked about how he hit it off with Sally Field on the set of 80 for Brady. He discussed his chemistry with the Oscar winner during a podcast. In it, his ex-teammate Rob Gronkowski, who was also in the movie, asked him a question. And that question was, would he consider dating Field? Okay, why'd he ask him that? Apparently, their chemistry was so good that his teammate called it an Oscar-worthy performance. Hmm. 
that can't be just his acting. Oh, really? Okay. I know what I would do. This is so easy. Well, how many sportsmen are good at acting? We can't name any unless you want to give the name of Dwayne Johnson. It is amazing. It's so exciting. It's also very epic. I think I've seen 10 of his movies and they're all the same. So no, it can't all be just acting. There was something real. So the question made sense and Brady acknowledged the chemistry. And I, I'm here and gosh, I'm so glad you're here. And He said that they have a kind of little on-camera thing going, which was nice. Uh he also said that they enjoyed their time together, so they'll see where it goes from there. Okay, Giselle Bunchen is fuming somewhere after that confession. He's had a thing for old ladies all this time. Field is 76 years old. I was pretty disappointed. It was tough loss. Is that the reason for their divorce? I admire you so much, but I can't have lunch with you because I would just be too nervous. Whole new world out there. I'm kidding, of course, but imagine if that were the case. Huh. And the Masked Singer alum replied, yeah, I know. I noticed that. I mean, who hasn't, for yeah. God's sakes? I know, it's for real. pretty simple. You haven't lived if you've never done that. No. So it's becoming quite noticeable, huh? Good for Field, honestly. And because his friend had targeted him and made him talk about his potential romance, Brady wasn't going to hold back. He took the attention away from himself and revealed Gronkowski shares a really spicy scene with Jane Fonda. But you're so big. Thank you. These women are having the time of their lives here and seeing how successful the ladies are. I'm serious, let's go to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is no place for four old women. This could be Tom's last one, he's almost 40. Brady and Gronkowski aren't doing so bad either. The Bucks player is pretty excited about the movie, especially the kiss. All right, there we go, check it out. He claimed that all of the Gronk fans are going to be excited and Jane Fonda fans too. They're all going to love seeing that. And now that Brady's a part of the business, we might see more from him because he's got more time on his hands. Right, this is what I think I would be. He got involved with this film in February 2022 when he announced his retirement from the NFL. You could quit, you know, you could quit, you could take the easy way out, you know, you could, you know, find a way to not play in game. We were all pretty heartbroken, weren't we? We're sure the Brady ladies cried a little holding their t-shirts, but then he took that decision back and rejoined and everyone smiled a bit more widely though something else significant happened in his life, and that was his divorce from his wife after 13 years of marriage. Oh, can we talk about that later? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta sort that out. Yeah, Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's why I said he might have a little more time on his hands, guys. Don't worry, I'm not bringing exclusive Brady retirement news here. It's just that he has his eyes on Sally Field right now, and she's gonna be on the set. Oh, me. Okay. Oh. So we're guessing that's where we'll find the football legend too. Where she goes, there he goes. I'm very reclusive. I mean, I'm like notorious hermit. Yeah. Making his moves and some movies. I mean, God you, bless him. Yeah, so you want to be fast or slow today? <laughs> well, this is all we're going to talk about the Brady ladies. You want to know more? Watch the movie when it comes out. See you all in the next video.